welcome back to the channel. So today I've got the i7. That's flanked by two 70s, two 740Is, the i7's in the middle of oxide gray. And what we're going to do today is demonstrate remote parking, which is now available on your My BMW app for eligible vehicles. All right, so it does require iOS 16.2, and if you have the i7, first you just go to the My BMW app. So we'll bring it up right here. And we can see remote control parking. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to do some calibration as well. Get started. So tilt the phone forward. Then towards you. Now it's sort of activated. Now we can begin the maneuvering process. So as you can see, it's got sensors coming up here. You got tap to drive forward, tap and hold, I should say, and then tap and hold for reverse. We're gonna do that. So we've got that thing going. All right, so we're gonna park it right there. That's a little bit abrupt. So you do have to be relatively close to your vehicle. You can't do this from afar. So we'll move it forward a little bit more. All right, you see the parking sensors there show you how close you are to an object. So obviously I'm getting a little bit close, but not uncomfortably close to this 5 Series. All right, so now I can back up the vehicle. So I can basically tap and hold to reverse into a spot here. This might be handy if you are Parking in tight spaces, get out of the car, back the car in. It does apply the brakes a little bit more, getting a little bit close. So there is, I think it might be about 15 feet in terms of how far away you can be from the vehicle. But I think it works pretty good. I don't know how useful it's going to be, but tight spaces, you can have the car pulled out so you can get in the vehicle or get out of the car and park it into a tight spot. So that way you're never going to be sort of trapped by the people around you. So that's a neat little parlor trick. But that's it for remote parking on the new i7.